so for this one, I'm going to start with uh, the proposal section and then go back and lead up to why I, uh, uh, I, I'm proposing uh, th this measure for, to be brought up as a uh, block throw, uh, block vote uh, for the USG candidates to get upon their platforms. So uh, the second proposal is expand the deadline for initiative petition signatures uh, to the fifth week of spring semester and lower the uh, signature requirements uh, to 10% of the previous election or to match the requirement of the signatures necessary uh, for the candidacy of the USG presidential candidate. And so I'll go through and explain what I mean by this. So as of now, um, uh, we have a 25% value, and actually you can see that on this page. Uh, here's the Constitution, and here's the election bylaws uh, for the USG. So uh, uh, we need at least 25% uh, to do an initiative uh, petition. And what, what an initiative petition is, is that's when uh, uh, any student on campus can collect uh, uh, signatures for a, a ballot measure. So that would go on the uh, election, which uh, is the 9th Monday through 9th Wednesday, so that would be March 7th through M March 9th, 2016, for, so for this year. Uh, so uh, for right now, it, we have 25%. Now, what that functionally means is that uh, if you compare that to the 11,472 of the previous election, someone would need to get 2,823 signatures uh, to have their initiative go through. And uh, let, me, let me go back and to just explain the color coding, uh, the red is related to the initiative system and the blue is related to uh, what presidential candidates uh, have to uh, go through to get uh, themselves uh, on the, the ballot or uh, to be elected or uh, put up for election. So. Um, uh, if if uh, you're going to be uh, uh, having your initiative put up, and uh, the, the reason I'm focusing on initiatives is uh, uh, this is uh, the, I guess, the other half of, uh, this, uh, of my proposals that would affect uh, most of the clubs uh, most greatly and ha have uh, ability for everyone to access it. So uh, for the other one, uh, it was uh, 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 funding that would allow you to get at every club access to hundreds of more dollars than they currently have. Uh, this uh, would allow every club to have their own concerns uh, uh, heard directly to the university as a whole. And uh, that way uh, you don't go through a lot of the bureaucracy uh, that is within the systems. Because I have tried to yeah, actually, I tried that first measure uh, through the USG, and I, st I started uh, in August, and I met with uh, the undergraduate trustee. So, so the way the, the Ohio State system works is there's 20 trust trustees uh, that run uh, Ohio State, uh, and one's an undergraduate representative, one's a graduate representative. So I met the under undergraduate representative, and there's this whole slew of uh, people that I had to get in contact to, to try to get towards uh, uh, any any hope of getting uh, that m uh, measure adopted into, into the codes. Uh, and uh, the, the, the way it just kind of turned out was that uh, uh, it, it's all based upon the whim of the administration and uh, it's normally one person uh, who brings it to a council who can then suggest it to someone like Dr. J. Uh, and uh, as of January, I got a message that it's go they're not even going to be able to address uh, uh, th that kind of funding until uh, late spring, April. Uh, so, so that's why I think the initiative system is uh, very important, because that allows us to have a direct uh, route to uh, having our word heard. Uh, and so, so if you, you uh, were going to do an initiative measure, uh, by the second Friday of the, the uh, spring semester, you would have to have your uh, petition uh, reviewed without any uh, uh, signatures to be submitted to the judicial panel. So, 
And so there's actually two times you have to submit it to the judicial panel, and that's uh, to um, make sure that it uh, uh, works up to the code uh, of um, the USG. So uh, it, it would be tied to the right bylaws, and it would fit into it. So uh, if you're going to make a measure, uh, and you got to get 2,800 votes, and you're going to get reviewed on the second Friday, you have no confidence on whether uh, your measure is going to uh, fully get through as is uh, and, until that second Friday. And the deadline for getting all the signatures is the third Monday. And if you think about it in the whole context, uh, it's the ninth week that the actual election takes place. But all of the important stuff for the initiative system takes place in the, uh, in the first three weeks. And you have to get an incredible amount of signatures, which is going to be uh, raising dramatically uh, each year. So it was 2,200 last year, and it's 2,800 uh, uh, this year. And with all the housing coming in, it's going to be uh, uh, impossible for anyone to actually get an initiative measure through in the, in the time uh, uh, B. And, and it, let, let's compare this to the presidential system. The, the, the presidential candidates, they uh, only need 750, uh, and that, that's accurate to this year. Uh, and that's by the fourth Friday, so they get an extra week, and, and they have uh, <laughs> well over a thousand less signatures to, to get. And if you really think about it, uh, uh, the reason for this discrepancy, it, it, it's kind of the word of saying, uh, what is more dangerous? Uh, and fr from now, it seems that uh, uh, the university uh, fears initiative systems more than candidates, like a, that, that a candidate would be less disruptive than a possible initiative system. And I, and I, I don't see the logic in that, because an initiative is just a single measure, and it's, uh, it is voted upon a, the group as a whole. And what is even uh, more ridiculous is, uh, Let's say it gets through all these measures and passes. Uh, if it affects the bylaws, then the General Assembly for the USG uh, can override it. Uh, well, they have to take a vote on it. So there's two checks on it, and regardless of what the university uh, votes on uh, as a whole, uh, it can get sh shut down later, and there's no such system for the presidential candidate. So, uh, it, it is a complete discrepancy, and it's favoring uh, presidential candidates for a reason un unknown. Uh, and so that's why I, I want to make these changes. And uh, let me let. And then and these are just uh, the dates of uh, in, in reality. So uh, here's the voting for March 7th through March 9th, and then the other dates on uh, how it actually goes through. So you have the submission. Uh, for us, at, as if we were going to do a mission, January 25th, and the presidential candidate would get all the way to February 5th, uh, which uh, is unfair in my mind. And so, just to uh, read it uh, th through again, so we would be expanding the deadline for the initiative uh, petition signatures to the fifth week of spring semester, so we would have two additional weeks, which seems fair towards the amount of votes that we're going to have to get if, if any of us want uh, to do an initiative, and, and you got to think of it not as um, maybe you as of now, but uh, your officers in the future, the ones that are going to be replacing you, and to keep your uh, club interests heard, uh, and keep your club viable, and because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm leaving this year, I'm a graduating senior, and um, so, so I'm not going to be able to use this system, but I, I believe that for my club, uh, to, to give it the most health uh, and the most chance that uh, ha having avenues in which uh, it can address the problems in the university uh, and a lot of the bureaucracy uh, that, that is unnecessary or damaging, uh, we need a system like this. And uh, so that, that's why I also want to lower the signature requirements to 10,000, uh, which would uh, lower the, uh, at least for this year, it would make it uh, 1,129 votes, which is a little more reasonable, uh, but maybe that's not uh, the best thing. But but uh, you also have to think about it. Uh, if this passes, we don't want the USG turning around and uh, turn uh, 
and just changing it again. Because as of now, the ju uh, judicial panel uh, ha has the ability to affect this number, uh, but it can only raise it. So, so that's why we want to lower it, uh, because they don't have the power to uh, from the judicial panel. So uh, it, it really does need to be on our initiative to get an, uh, an initiative or to get the USG uh, presidential candidate to put this in their platform and to follow through with it. And uh, there's also um, the, the reason I, I give the option of 10% or uh, the, the numbers necessary for a presidential candidate. So that would be 750. So that uh, uh, either it's a, a lower amount for functional reasons, or uh, it is a recognition that uh, uh, pr uh, presidential candidates and initiatives are equally uh, promising uh, and uh, uh, possibly threatening, and so that that each of them can be addressed through the petition system, which is t should try to uh, make sure that. Uh, the initiatives and uh, the policies they get through are reasonable uh, and well thought out. And, and uh, th there's, there's good feeling behind that, and that's why I think we need to have this measure put as a block vote to get it put on their platforms.